Hey everyone. How about that? Yeah, I'm back with a, I guess you'd say, updated version of my overview of the Queen Crystallis and Changelings Guardians of Harmony fan series. Yeah, this is a fan series figure of the Guardians of Harmony. Now, it doesn't say Guardians of Harmony, but basically that's what it's based on. And uh, this is the fourth that has come out in the series. You've had Discord, you had Celestria, you have Nightmare, Ni Nightmare Moon, aka Luna, and now you have Crystallis, and then later on we're going to have the Storm King and I think a few others. Now, um, now like I said in my overview of Princess Luna's uh, Vinyl Funko official, um, like I said, like I said in the overview, in my updated overview of the official full-size Funko Princess Luna vinyl figure, I'm not going to delete these the uh, the originals because in case something happens, I don't want to delete them. So here we have Princess, I mean not Princess, but Queen Ch Crystallis and Changelings. Uh, now in this updated video, I don't have to worry about any. Um, strings or anything if you catch my drift. It's like I dealt with that enough doing the original. It's like why in the world do they need so many strings? You know, it's like you might as well not just let people have an ac have access to the figure because that's pretty much what you're doing is you're preventing access to the figure, um, if you will. So we'll take it out here for a second and uh, pull her out. Much easier than last time, I'll say that. And uh, there she is. There is uh, Queen Crystallis. And I really like, as I said before in the other video, I really like the design here. Uh, this, I think you can move a little bit. I think it hooks into some of them. Like if you want to move some of the green, I think it hooks into some of them. Like I think it hooked into uh, the green, into the, her green tail, if you will, her turquoise tail, if you will. But overall, I really like the design, and the design to me is spot on for her, uh, in a sense. It's really spot on. The green basically represents her powers, like her changeling's powers to shapeshift and all that, so I really like that. The facial figure looks really good. Um, just a great, great job by Hasbro. Um, the addition of the changelings, I think, was great. I really liked it. Overall, just a great representation of the character. The holes are great. I mean, I, was, I, I just wonder how hard it was for them to put the holes in uh, into each slot that needed to be uh, drilled into, if you know what I'm saying. Um, the figure is kind of flexible in a sense. Like, you can move certain things. Like, the hair you can move a little bit on her. You can move the hair in certain areas, so it's pretty cool. And the wings you can move uh, as well. Overall, it's just a nice, nice figure and really worth uh, every penny. Uh, and as I said before, the way I found out about this is somebody on one of the Facebook pages uh, posted the fact that they went to a GameStop, and at GameStop, this figure was already being displayed and being retailed for sale ahead of its ahead of the release date ahead I should say of its official release date so what happened is I guess the person that discovered it was able to get a cop was able to get one but then the rest that was the rest of the Queen Crystallis uh, fan series uh, figures that was displayed were taken down or taken to the back because they weren't supposed to be displayed or put on for sale so soon or something like that so overall though, that's so basically that's how I found out about it and I'm just happy to have it. Um uh, you can definitely see she's got a little crown there, so that's a nice detail nice detailed touch. Uh really, really nice overall. I'm just really happy to have it. And it's probably one of the tallest ones. It's like right now the second tallest, if not most art articulate figure. Uh, in the fan series, in the Guardians of Harmony fan series. The, sec the first one, of course, being Discord, is probably just more articulate. So, but size-wise, I think it's just a bit bigger than the Nightmare 
Nightmare Moon, aka Luna. I think it's just a little bit bigger, but overall, I'm really happy with this. And uh, it's a great display piece if you want to take it out of the box and keep it in the box. Right now, until I feel the time is right, I'm keeping it in the box because I just feel it's better off there. But if you're a collector, and if you're a collector of any kind, and it doesn't matter if, you have, if you're a fan or not, this is definitely something you want to collect. This, along with Nightmare Moon, aka Princess Luna, Princess Celestia, Discord, and then the upcoming Storm King. Those are definitely high, me, in my opinion, very high collectibles that you want to get. And when I look at the age thing here, it says age four and up. I don't know why they put that there. It's not going to, four-year-olds are not going to be like, oh, I'm just going to display it display it and leave it like that. No, four-year-olds are going to want to play with it. And so they might as well say this is adult collectors only. That's the way I look at it. I mean, they did that with, DC did that with through Mattel with Holly Quinn's figure. So overall, though, I'm really, like I said, I'm just really happy, really thrilled to have it. Um, and just on a side note, let me, let me get some of the hair off there, or whatever that lint, or whatever it is. Uh, just off a side note, if you watch the recent uh, PO unboxing, PO, the PO unboxing by Linkara and Viga, Viga ended up getting Discord, Nightmare Moon, Luna, Nightmare Moon, aka Luna, and Celestria, but she ended up getting Celestria times two from Jeffrey P., but I think the initial, I think originally what happened is Jeffrey P. wanted to send her um, all four. She, he wanted to send Vega and Linkara all four figures from Celestria, Nightmare Moon, Discord, and then Crystalis. But what happened is someone messed up the order and instead gave her two Celestrias instead of one of each. I think that's what happened. So hopefully that gets rectified. In the next PO unboxing, if you catch my drift, let's hope it gets rectified. And really, that's all I could say. But again, that is my overview of the, of the Queen Crystalis figure. Really happy with it. And cannot wait to see what they do with the Storm King. I'm hoping down the line that they give us more of these. I would like to see a rarity uh, fan series, rarity statue. I'd like to see one on Twilight. I would like to see one on... I'd like to see one on the main six, mainly. I really would like to see that. In fact, I think a good idea is to have the main six in one big figure, if you will, like all standing side by side. I would love to see that. But uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, overall, I highly recommend, again, if you're a collector, to go out and get this. It'll be worth every penny. So that's all I'm going to say, folks. Let me know what you think down below. But, yeah, it's just, to me, it's worth it. Uh, it doesn't really cost much uh, if you when you if you want the truth. It doesn't really cost as much as some people may want you to believe. It doesn't really cost much, and uh, again, like I say, it's worth every every penny. It's really worth it. I mean, if you want a price range, right now on Amazon, they're selling it for about if it's through Amazon or through a uh, a partner like the uh, uh, a third party store that uses the Prime services to ship for free uh, it's about $28 through Amazon and I think maybe through some of the third party sellers that use the Prime account to do free shipping so so yeah it's, it's available that way but overall just a great figure to have and again like I said I'm just really happy to have it and that's really all I can say. So let me know what you guys think down below. Comment if you like. And I am out.